kindergarten, it's time for another music video. This week we're going to be making a musical instrument, we're going to be reading a book, singing a few songs, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get started today by dancing. So go ahead and stand up, we're going to get moving today. The song I'm going to play is called Clap Your Hands, and you're going to be clapping, and then later in the song you're going to be digging, so pretend like you've got your shovel out and you're digging in the ground, and then we're going to be jumping, looking up to see the moon, and then we will also be stomping our feet, stomp, 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 and then there's going to be a time in the song where you get to decide what kind of dance you want to do. All right, let's start by clapping today. Clap, clap. Jump up high, ready to jump? Jump, jump, jump up high, jump up high together. Jump, jump, jump up high, jump up high together. Jump up high. Good, and now let's do see the moon. Reach up on your tippy toes to see. of a treble clef and this sign of a bass clef. We're going to use these for the next activity. The treble clef, right here, treble clef, is usually notes that are higher, that sound in higher pitch, closer to like a bird sound. Okay, so listen to these high notes. treble clef notes. Those are the higher notes. This next clef is called the bass clef. And the bass clef is typically the lower sounding notes, kind of like elephant notes. These are bass clef notes. Okay, we're going to have a little challenge here. You're going to hold up the bass clef if the notes are low, or hold up the treble clef if the notes are high. So set them down, listen for the notes, and figure out if it's high, oops, low, or high. Okay, here we go. High notes, did you hold up the treble clef? Good job. That was a low note, wasn't it? Okay, let's try another one. High notes. That was low, wasn't it? Okay, I'm going to do four more 
and do these on your own. I'm not going to hold up the right thing. I want to see if you can get it. Ready? That's the first one. That was the treble clef, wasn't it? That was a low note. That was a bass clef note. Okay, another one. Treble clef, yes. Bass clef. Good job, kindergarten. That was fun. Let's review what the names of these are. <clears throat> Treble clef and bass clef. That's right. Good job. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to sing our hymn of the month. On Christ's ascension, I now build. We started working on this last week. Let's continue working on it today. <clears throat> On Christ's ascension, I now build. Let's try that again. On Christ's ascension, I now build. The hope of my ascension. Repeat that part. The hope of my ascension. Going on. This hope alone has always stilled. Ready? This hope alone has always stilled. All doubt and apprehension. All doubt and apprehension. For where the head is, there as well. For where the head is there as well. Listen. I know it where my Lord to dwell. Let's try that again. I know it where my Lord to dwell. Listen. When Christ will come and call them. Let's try that together. When Christ will come and call them. Let's go back and do the whole thing together now. On Christ's ascension, I now build the hope of my ascension. This hope alone has always stilled all doubt and apprehension. For where the head is there as well, I know his members are to dwell. When Christ will come and call them. Once more, please. On Christ's ascension I now build the hope of my ascension. This hope alone has always stilled all doubt and apprehension. For where the head is there as well, I know his members are to dwell. When Christ will come and call them. Fantastic singing, kindergarten. Good job. Time to hear a fun story. And this story I need your help with. The story is called, We're Going on a Bear Hunt. Yes, this family they're going to go on a bear hunt. They're going to go searching to find a bear. And in this story are some fun sounds I need your help with. The first one is swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Second one is with water. Splash, splosh, splash, splosh, splash, splosh, splash, splosh. Squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch. That's a weird word, huh? Squirch? Yeah, it's weird. Stumble, trip. St 
Dumble trip. Just like you're tripping over something, right? Dumble trip. Stumble trip. Oh my goodness, that's going to be fun. Sounds like the wind a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, we are ready. Your sound effects sound fantastic. Let's read the story. We're going on a bear hunt. Mm. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. Grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. We need help making these sounds. Are you ready? Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. We're going through the grass. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. A river, a deep, cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. They're going to have to go through the river. Oh, my goodness. Look, there's ducks swimming through a river. Whoa. Splash, 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 splash. Look. Even the sneakers, the dog, the baby, they all went through the river. Squelch. Oops, I skipped a page. Here it is. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. Mud. Thick, oozy mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. Through the mud. Oh, no. Here's that funny sound. Squelch, squelch. Ready? Squelch, squelch. Squelch, squelch. Squelch, squelch. <laughs> that was fun. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. A forest. A big dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. Uh-oh. Stumble trip. Stumble trip. Stumble trip. When you're walking through a forest with hot branches, you could easily trip, huh? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. A snowstorm. A swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. Ready to help make sounds? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. A cave. A narrow, gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. Through the Tip-toe, tip-toe, tip-toe. 
What's that? Oh, uh oh, what could it be? One sh shiny wet nose, two big furry eyes, two big googly eyes. It's a bear! Oh my goodness, it's a bear! Oh, quick, back through the cave, tiptoe, 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 back through the snowstorm. Back through the forest, stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Back through the mud, squelch, 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 squelch. Back through the river, splash, 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 splash. Back through the grass, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Get to our front door. Oh no, up, open the door, up the stairs. Uh-oh, we forgot to shut the door. Back downstairs. Shut the door. Back upstairs into the bedroom. Into bed under the covers. <sighs> We're not going on a bear hunt again. <laughs> Oh, there goes the bear going back home. What a fun story as we went on a bear hunt today. Good job, kindergarten. All right, you're going to need some materials for our next activity. We're going to make another musical instrument today. First, you're going to need a plastic water bottle. And the plastic water bottle needs to be empty. And you need to have a lid, too. So when you open it, it's empty. There's nothing in there. Don't lose the lid. Okay, then you're going to need this bag with beans and beads that I gave you. And you're going to need some scotch tape. Okay, we're ready to begin. Open your plastic bag with the beads and please be sure to do this over a counter or a table because it could get messy really fast. Put a small handful in your hand and just put it right into the water bottle. Notice the pretty beads and the pretty, pretty colors that are in there. We've got lots of different kinds of things going in. Some beads and some beans. All sorts of different shapes and sizes, aren't they? You're going to notice, once we get all these things in there, it's going to make a very cool sound. This instrument we're making is called a maraca. And a maraca is a type of percussion instrument. Normally, it has a part that you hold in your hand and then the other part shakes. It kind of looks like a baby rattle. Well, our maraca is going to be a water bottle with some stuff added in, but it's the same idea. Almost got my stuff ready to go. I bet you're close too. Don't want to leave anything behind. Okay. All my stuff is in the bottom of my water bottle. And I'm going to put that plastic lid on. I'm going to make sure it's pretty tight because I don't want it going in there. I'm going to get my plastic tape. And I'm going to get a pretty long piece because I'm actually going to put it over the edge where my plastic water bottle and the cap meet together because I don't want it opening up. So I'm going to go ahead and get my tape and start by putting it around the water bottle, right where the cap meets the water bottle, just so I can give it some extra reinforcement there. Don't want that bot that lid coming off at all. I'm gonna put it around, and I'm gonna keep it real nice and tight. There, see how my water bottle's got plastic tape to keep that lid on really good. Ooh, that's a cool sound. Try it. Nice. When we play our instrument today, we're going to play long notes and some short notes. Okay. So long, short, forte, piano. Good. Okay. Right here at the beginning, we've got half notes. Remember we say apple, apple. 
bowl. We've got grape notes. Grape, grape, grape. Watermelon, grape, apple. Okay, let's try it. One, two, ready, go. Apple, apple, grape, grape, grape. Watermelon, grape, apple. Again, two, ready, go. Apple, apple, grape, grape. Grape, watermelon, grape, apple. Nice, that was fun. This time, do the same fruit names, but I'm going to count the measure number. We're in four, four time. So that means I'm going to count to four. This will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, play this time. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Again, and I'm going to go a little slower this time. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Good job. That was sure fun playing your maraca, wasn't it? I'm sure you'll enjoy that for rhythms to come. It's time for our last activity in music today, and we're going to sing a song called Praise Him, Praise Him. And the way we sing this song is we've got some actions to help tell the story. To sing about God's love. And the first verse is praise him. The second verse is love him. Third verse is thank. See how I took my hand, one palm out, the other hand touches my chin to show thank. And then the last verse is serve. Yeah. And we serve God by doing nice things for other people, by finding ways we can be helpful by giving to other people, by showing mom and dad we love them, by listening to them. Those are all ways that we can show that we are serving God. We can thank God for sending his son, Jesus Christ, to be our savior. We can also thank God for sending us and giving us all the good things we have in this life. Our parents, our families, our home, our pets, our food, those are all things we can be thankful for. We love God because he has loved us and gave his son to die on the cross for us. We can praise God because he gave us an awesome world to be in. And we can also praise him for being our savior. All right, let's go ahead and try singing this song. But one quick thing, I should go through a few more actions. There's a part where we sing, all you little children. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> oh, goodness, excuse me. We sing, all you little children, and then God, that's sign language for God. God is love. God is love. All you little children, God is love. And it's very repetitive. You'll get used to it. But let's go ahead and sing it. Praise him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Praise him, praise him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Ready? Love him, love him, love him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Love him, love him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Thank him, ready? Thank him, thank him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Thank him, thank him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Last verse to serve. Serve him, serve him, all you little children. 
children. God is love. God is love. Serve him, serve him. All you little children. God is love. God is love. Kindergarten, it's been great getting you to teach you over video, but I really miss seeing you in person. I hope you have a great summer, and I look forward to seeing you this fall when you're in first grade. Bye!